from what I understand right now, the yard is it's in shambles. It's in shambles right now. It's not. It's not looking the best. It's not serene. It's not an oasis. George, surprise! Oh. You're getting rescued. Oh, yes! oh my goodness, George! <laughs> I'm Christine. And I'm Leah. And, and welcome to our home. <laughs> when we first met, you described each other as the odd couple. Can you introduce that again? <laughs> Tell me what you mean by that. We both have different personalities and living together, being the only sibling left living at home. That can be a challenge sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> she is a good daughter. She's warm, she's kind, she's empathetic, and she definitely takes good care of me. My mom is energetic. She, she's not a pushover at all. There's a saying, she gives no tea for the fever, so she takes all of it. She put in a lot of work to raise three kids by herself, make sure that we always had a place to stay, um, heat when we needed it, cold air when we needed it, something to drink, something to eat, like all the necessities. She is really just a force to be uh, reckoned with. So in January of 2023, I had a seizure and Christine had to call the ambulance. So many thoughts were running through my mind. It was like my life really flashed before my eyes. I don't know what the next moment was gonna be like. All I saw was her foaming at the mouth. Thankfully, the 911 operator was coaching me and teaching me through what to do. Make sure she's laying flat. Don't try to sit her up. And it was like, I don't know what's gonna happen within the next hour. Doctors discovered that Leah had a mass and a brain bleed that needed immediate surgery. That was scary. Because you're like, how does this happen? What how I didn't fall? What, what what's going on? If she wasn't here, I don't know. You know, but I'm glad that she was here. Now she's doing well. She is not in the state that she was six months ago. It just still takes me a little time to process things. Still moving a little slow. Don't have the energy that I had before, but Christine always reminds me, Ma, you have brain surgery. <laughs> what do you think? She was independent all her life, strong, resilient. So I had to reassure her that you're not gonna always be like this, but I'm just trying to provide you the best care that I can while you're in this temporary state that you're in now. Christine has been an amazing caretaker and she was so thoughtful to write to me asking if I would rescue her family's backyard. Now, while Leah's garden has been a great source of comfort during her recovery, what Christine wants is to surprise her with the healing oasis she really deserves. There's nothing like fresh tomatoes, strawberries. It's hard work, yeah, it's hard work, but the benefits and the joy that you see what you reap from putting in that effort, that's the best for me. This is purple sage. I still have some seeds that I just started. Peppers are coming up. Over here, this is some flowers that I like. Oh, this is something I'm trying new to. This is watermelon. What's your biggest issue with the yard right now? It's ugly. <laughs> like all of the produce from it is beautiful, but like when you walk outside, you're just seeing a world of crab grass and just these Jurassic looking insects. She, she loves to repurpose things, but right now we really don't have the storage to do so. So everything is just all over the place. Hey, hey. Christine! <laughs> How you doing? I got your letter. Today, George is allowing me help him surprise my mom with her backyard oasis. I don't know what her reaction's gonna be. Um, I'm a little nervous and anxious, but all for the right reasons. No words can really explain how much my mom means to me. She's done so much for me, so if I can do this for her without hesitation, I'm glad that I got to be a part of this. From what I understand right now, the yard is, it's in shambles. It's in shambles right now, it's not, it's not looking the best. It's not serene, it's not an oasis. Uh, you've seen the show, you know. We're gonna, I know. We're, we're gonna bring it. I know, I reached out to the right it. people. My mom was in the backyard with the producer, thinking that like she's in the final round, she doesn't know whether or not we're gonna get picked, but she is picked, and we're about to surprise her. Me and George are about to go in there. All right. Moment of truth. I know. <laughs> George! But you look like a cat track again. All right, so that's mom's house? That's, that's your house? That's mom's house right there. My mom is in the backyard with the producer, thinking that like she's in the final round. She doesn't know whether or not we're going to get picked. 
but she is picked and we're about to surprise her. Me and George are about to go in there. George! Would you look what the cat dragged <laughs> in? Surprise! Oh. You're getting rescued! Oh, yes! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, for real! For real. No. Well, I thought it was more cameramen coming, and then I saw my daughter, and I'm like, wait a minute, but then I saw George, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. I didn't still know if I was being picked. Oh! <laughs> right. um, she gets embarrassed. I better stop. Get embarrassed? Let her go! <laughs> just to see that relief on her face, the it was like relief, excitement, just thrill, all wrapped in one. I, I just really, really appreciate it, and I love you. I love you, too. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, he thought that, that, was, I, that wasn't your reaction okay. for knowing that you're getting rescued. Wait till you see it when it's all oh, said and done. Oh. Rich, what's up, buddy? George, good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, I am very excited to rescue the Mandeville's backyard, but I don't even know where to start, and that is why I am bringing in the one and only, the only person who is smart enough, fast enough, passionate enough, and handsome enough. Rich Cording and his team from CLC Landscape Design. All right, Rich, now she's not pretty, all right, but there's a lot of potential. Let's see. It's all potential. It's all potential. Rich, I'm sorry. I may have undersold this a little bit. This won't be the first time he's been on George the Rescue Rodeo, and he knows you got to hold on because that thing bucks. This yard has a huge maple tree. Yeah. Uh, maple trees are, are known for not just heavy shade, not good for a garden, a lot of roots, not good for growing anything. Right, so, not even good for like putting it on a patio because roots will like kick out patio, uh, you can see all the lawn is dead as soon as it gets underneath the maple tree. It's, it's actually, it's like, it's a perfect example. This one's getting sun, yeah. the ones that aren't getting sun, <laughs> literally dead. The challenge for this project is creating a successful garden in the small portion of the yard that has a lot of sunlight and then getting creative with all the other spaces that are filled uh, with roots from the maple tree or covered with the, the leaves of the maple tree, creating a very shady environment. There's two key factors for any successful garden, sunlight and manure. Like, like poop, like cow manure? Yes. Does that mean we have to fill this backyard with, with manure? Um, you telling me that we're going down the, down the manure train on this, on this episode? Oh dear, I have to get my 3M mascot for that one. That's 100% sure. First things first, we are going to clear everything out. We're going to try and salvage as much of her soil as possible, but we're just going to separate all the weeds and the debris and stuff that we just want to throw away. All right, brick by brick. Oh my God, there's some critters in there. Look at these guys. Come over here, come here, come here, come here. Oh man, we got some, got some big bugs. Oh my God, it's trying to get in my shoe. That thing will eat right through you. You won't even have skin to take your shoe off and it'll just be bone. What do we got here? Do we want to save any of this? Yeah. This is Leah's space. She cares about everything that she has put in the ground here. She has planted this stuff with love. There's no way I'm letting it die on my watch. And you see, as long as you, you save all these roots, that means you're getting in there, you're saving it. You just cut it off the top, dead. This is just temporary, all right? You're gonna get back with your friends in the garden very soon, I promise, all right? Look at all these people you can talk to. We got Mr. Lavender over here. We got some other flowers that I can't identify, but I'm sure Rich could. All right, feeling good. Feeling hot, feeling sweaty. Now what we're seeing is we do have, you know, a little bit of rot, but that's not gonna be a problem. We're gonna be able to fix that up with uh, some pressurized lumber at the base of our, um, our new bed, so don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, trying to work as much as I can in the shade because it is well over 100 degrees today. It's like working in the oven. Guys, we got ourselves a slug. Sly. We call him Sly. Sly. Yeah, full name. Because he slides. Yeah. We're moving, we're grooving. We got Rich here and his team from CLC. They're killing it on the yard. They're putting together our base for where our, our shed's gonna go, uh, laying out where the garden's gonna go. We're using pea gravel for this project because it's not problematic underneath the maple tree. We cannot use a lawn here because the lawn's not gonna grow within the root zone of the maple. And we don't wanna use pavers or any other kind of flat surface here because the roots are going to push those materials around and make tripping hazards. 
So pea gravel is a great long-term solution for safety and for the health of the tree. Rich, you can't get a, uh, a machine in here to do all this? You are the machine, the human machine. All right, how much of this do I need to uh, just, ha just keep tamping? Is there, keep is tamping? there a stomping point? Yeah, when you can't feel your arms anymore. This That's is, when this I know is like there. Karate Kid. Woo! Summer bodies are made in the summer. <laughs> Leah's fence is actually in great shape. You know, could use a fresh stain, but there's no need to throw it out. So I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna use these sanding sponges just to get the nooks and crannies. My buddy Fred Furlon from FPF Painting, he's gonna come in with some palm sanders and really just knock it out. Don't sand this thing down like it's a fine piano. You don't have to get every drop of stain off. You just wanna get it nice and distressed like that so that when you restain it, the stain will absorb in. My buddy Julian and his buddy Randy, we're gonna build some raised flower boxes and we are gonna build some benches. There's us for you, safety first. There's gonna be a lot of cutting, some power tools. You know, something I'm really excited to try out is the 3M Pro Protect electronic hearing protectors. Hey, George, I need more lumber. All right, I'll get more lumber. They're gonna save your hearing, they're gonna allow you to make calls. You can rock out to some music, listen to a podcast, get the job done while your ears are dancing in joy. I noticed the homeowner had a very eclectic collection of pots. Yeah, we got a ton. The fact is we didn't buy any of these. These were all literally all here. Leah's. We are gonna clean and paint the pots so Ooh. we can bring some color into a shady yard. It's very shady back here. I love so. it, I love it. Sounds like a good chore for my kids. All the help we can get. At least the hounds. All right, guys, hey, bring it in. Family hug. Oh, come in. Oh. Thanks for coming to work with Dad today. How'd you guys get here? Did you guys hitchhike, Uber, ride your bikes? As you can see, we brought up some of our own spray paint. So uh, we're geared up. Rich, we got all sorts of stuff going on over here. We got some rainbows, we got some, some decorative. We got some really just nice, vibrant colors. Nice, nice, nice finishing touches. Boom, yes, just a spritz. Perfect. Oliphant Brothers Painting open for business. Name TBD, something with Oliphants, boys, sons, painting, ready for business. Oh man, I'm just gonna take a quick dirt nap in that cow poop. Mm-mm, good. Leah's Garden Oasis is really coming together. I'm so proud that Rich thought to upcycle all of the things that Leah already had back here, her pots, her planters, her pavers, even the soil. So believe it or not, this is all of Leah's dirt from her previous gardens. Think of this wheelbarrow here as our pot we're gonna make a stew in. Oh, that's my mixing bowl. That's your mixing bowl. I'm looking for two parts soil, one part manure, sprinkle of the perlite. We're mixing in the perlite material because it lightens the soil and gives room for the roots to grow. All right, Chef Rich. Oh, not delicious. What's in this? What's in it? This is some, this has got some, oh, some kick. It's got George, some real kick. George, this recipe's been in my family for five generations. I can tell. So you we gotta have. You got tell me what the secret sauce is. <laughs> no, the secret sauce comes in these big yellow bags. It's called manure. Oh, the good stuff, number two. <laughs> number yeah. two. Can you say that I have any in my teeth? You, you do. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. Let's plant these things. Okay. We want to try to keep the pots as lightweight as possible. I got the secret ingredient for you. <laughs> More secret ingredients. More secret ingredients. This guy never <laughs> stops with the secret ingredients. What do you got? What is that? Whoa! Whoa! Jeez! Preparing these pots for planting, we're putting packing peanuts in the bottom. They're non-toxic, so they're gonna keep the pots lightweight. And if Leah ever wants to rearrange them, she has that flexibility however she wants. I hope you enjoyed your time at camp. But now, it's time to settle down. One See down. You later, girl. About 30 to go. All right, let's rock and roll. Color. Hey, and Artie. Oh, and Artie. What's up, man? Would you look at these begonias? Scarlet begonias. Married my wife because of that song. 
Um, Once we put in a table, they can be dining al fresco. All right. There's no better gift one gardener can give to another gardener than to share in the harvest. So I went out to my garden this morning. Well, Peter picked some peppers. You got banana peppers. Nice, my fave. Green peppers. So you go out to your garden and you're just like, what's up, Doc? All the time. I, I understand that joy, and I, I'm sure Leah understands that joy. So I'm glad we're giving her all this opportunity to, to pick fresh stuff, come sit right here, and eat it. We are putting our finishing touches on Leah's garden. And in order to bring some ambiance into the space, we're going to hang some lights, and we're going to use 3M command hooks for damage-free design. I had a great time doing this rescue. I'm really proud of what we were able to do. Hey, there's no way we pulled this rescue off without Rich Cording and his entire team at CLC. To be able to get back there and do something special for somebody who would never have been able to do this on their own. Rich, team, yeah. CLC, we have done it. We have reached the finish line. There's only one thing left to do. Welcome home, Leah! <laughs> that was good. That was good. Yeah. There we go. Nice. All right. All right. Check out your backyard! Oh! What's up, Christine? Hi. What's up, Leah? How are you? Oh, you guys ready wait. to see what we did? Yes, we're excited. We're excited. Right. Yes. Well, we really wanted to make that place that was your recovery, that's your love, that's your space, that's where you, that's Leah's place. Yes, you know? yes. We really wanted it to match your enthusiasm for it. So, uh, oh, we appreciate I hope it. we have taken it to the oasis that <laughs> you dreamed we could. Check out your backyard. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This is beautiful! Oh my goodness! You got your own botanical garden. Oh my goodness! Look at that! I just couldn't believe it. The greenery, the gravel. It was so beautiful to look at. I mean, like, it's pretty. It's more than pretty, it's gorgeous. It's exciting, it's emotional, it's it's just, it's boom. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Totally a, way beyond my expectations. Definitely. Oh my, and the shed, oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, okay, I have to sit here. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have to sit. I have to sit and take a breath. This is explosive. This is so beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Look at this, look at this backyard. It's so nice to see someone that you love have so much enjoyment and happiness on their face. To see that the backyard that she loved, that she loved planting in, was now made even better well suited for her, well suited for the area. Oh, oh, oh they, they got, got the, the bells. bells! Oh, oh wow. my goodness! And because we had this big, beautiful uh, maple tree, uh, we couldn't, you know, that's why you, a lot of the things you were trying to grow couldn't wouldn't grow. grow. They just yes. weren't in the sun. Yes. We couldn't put a patio here because the roots would up, make it upheave. So we went with all with this pea is, gravel and nice. still give you visual interest and still give oh, you color. This nice. is too uh, nice. I have to ask, oh, do, you, do you recognize these pots? Oh, oh, they painted yeah. the pots. Oh my goodness. We upcycled every oh. one of your pots and all of your plants that were here, we saved. Oh, Anything really? that was alive. We got rid of obviously the weeds and the roots and what have you, but your tomato plants, I bonded with one. I named it Susan. Oh, okay. I thought she's, it was Susan. she's hiding over here somewhere. I'm never leaving. This is my staycation. I can't wait wow. to be back here tonight. Right? Nice. Oh, now she here. wants to be yeah, back here. Now she wants to come back. Now she I'll wants to be, back back. Back. Now you you wants to be in the back. To drag me yeah, out. I'll drag you out. <laughs> you know, I feel like I got a little bit of the garden itch now. Just because it <laughs> just because it looks so attractive and alluring. She's gonna start getting annoyed with me, okay? <laughs> like that's gonna be my space, but no no no, just playing. Hey Rich, you hiding back there somewhere? Uh -oh. There he is! Rich! Rich! Oh my goodness, Rich, they say you're the best, you're the best. Thank you so much, Rich. Oh. We appreciate you, George. And when you first came, you said, I, I know people, you know people, and you got the job done. So we're truly thankful for all that you did, transforming this ugly yard into an oasis. There has been a ton of memories throughout this year, and to know that 
you guys have been a part of the good ones, it, it means a lot. And she's gonna be out there and thriving and vibing and just chilling with Susan and all the worms and whatever insects may be. And I'm just, I'm, I'm very happy. Thank yeah. you, CLC! Thank you yeah. And George, to the rescue! Yes! They make me look good. Okay.